Hello and welcome to this tutorial about WOW Frequency Equalizer. WOW is a Photoshop plugin built to enhance your photographs. It is a plugin and not a panel because it adds functions not available directly in Photoshop. WOW is especially suited for portraits, but it can be successfully put to work with any kind of image. It's easy to launch WOW. Just go to the Window menu, then Extensions, and then choose WOW Frequency Equalizer somewhere down the menu, depending on how many extensions you have installed. As one shouldn't try to drive without knowing at least the basic principles on which an engine is based, in this tutorial I would like to explain the core idea behind WOW. I will do that in a simplified way without even using WOW. WOW is based on a technique called frequency separation. This is something you can do natively in Photoshop, but WOW brings it to a different level. What we have here is a portrait of a woman. As you may notice, there is a group called Frequency Separation currently not visible. Let's make it visible and expand it. It contains two layers and an adjustment layer, and the image doesn't look any different whether the group is on or off. If I isolate the background layer and use the Clone Stamp tool on it, you know what to expect. If I sample an eye and paste it on the forehead of the woman, the result doesn't need any explanation. Let me now turn the background layer off. The low frequency layer looks like a blurred version of the face with no detail. The high frequency layer is a flat, greyish thing with basically no contrast, but it seems to have a lot of the detail. In general, we call high frequency the detail in an image, and low frequency the rest, which is more connected to shape and smooth variation. If we perform the same clone stamp tool operation on the high frequency layer, here is what happens. The eye is cloned, but it looks very different than before. We see the eye, but we see the color and luminosity of the underlying skin as well. In a nutshell, we were able to copy and paste detail only, regardless of what's behind. Let me now go back. Also, if I activate the Curves Adjustment layer, which is restricted to operate on the high frequency layer only, I can change the detail of the image by steepening or flattening the curve. This may not always be desirable, but a situation like this might be a good starting point when you need to go into something similar to beauty retouch and not have six hours of time on your hands. To be true, this technique is more related to the WOW Frequency Equalizer Pro plugin and another tutorial is available. If we want to stick to the non-pro version, here's another example. In a face, we may see elements which live on different scales dimension-wise. The eyelashes are very small. The iris is bigger. The eye is bigger still. The nose jumps up level in dimension. The whole face is larger than anything it contains. If we could find a way to isolate these elements, so to say, on the basis of their size, we could manipulate them hoping not to affect the others. This is difficult because, for example, a face contains an eye, which in turn contains an iris, which is surrounded by eyelashes. All these frequencies, yes, that's the correct name, go together. A frequency is indeed a spatial frequency. The higher it is, the more it is concerned with detail. The lower it is, the larger the shape it describes. WOW Frequency Equalizer does just that. It decomposes your image in five different frequency bands and allows you to adjust them individually, exactly as we saw in the previous example, but there are as many as four more frequencies available. In the next tutorial, we'll put WOW to work straight away.